half a million people suffer spinal cord injuries each year, but now a scientific breakthrough could help them one day walk again. I want you to look at this video of a paralyzed monkey now able to walk. This is so very cool. Researchers at the Swiss Institute of Technology implanted the monkeys with brain chips. These brain chips then sent wireless signals to the par paralyzed areas and then they were able to move them. It's almost like Wi-Fi for the brain. The brain is telling your limbs to move bypassing the injured spinal cord. Yeah, it's fascinating. This off, off the charts how study. cool this oh, is. And, and so we were just talking about neuroplasticity that I guess with, with a chip you can retrain the brain, so to speak. Now in this case, so all, monkeys only, mm -hmm. they're able to, to move, to walk, they can't steer yet, so that's a whole different part of the brain that they're gonna have to address. But this is a whole new frontier. One of the secondary benefits of this, and I cannot emphasize this enough, is that even if, and this isn't ready for prime time, mm -hmm. but even if initially this can only be used while you're laying in bed to subtly move your limbs, one of the biggest issues, as we know, with people who are paralyzed, not only is it everything from bed sores, to blood clots, to, you know, you always have to have a caretaker there to help you move. You move. Yeah. If you could use this initially to just, again, we're not saying go out and, and, and run marathons, but to, to get some subtle movement back, the, the benefits that that would have, and then of course, over time as that is refined, there is potential here that people could walk again. I, th I think they're saying perhaps human trials for this in 2020, which actually is not small. that far and off. We've had the neurosurgeons possible. on the show saying and predicting that the brain stimulation and brain modulation all is really the future. And when I was in medical school, we would have never thought that anything like this was, was possible, but we're gonna see huge advances in the near future. And, and for such a devastating condition. I mean, as you said, 250 to 500,000 people per year suffering from spinal cord injury. And that's a huge toll, even on their families and their caregivers, the medical system, even just being able to move so they don't develop bed sores is tremendous. Well, now there finally is hope. And that is one of the things that is so great in medicine is when there is a place where you really can't give any right. sense of hope yeah. to a family, now you can. And even just that little bit of hope for anyone out there with a spinal cord injury to motivate yep. them to along fight. With, along with yep. growth factors and mm -hmm. stem cells, I know they're, they're working on that too.